Now, Kenya is taking the lead in various technological innovations across the world, attracting multi-billion dollar investments. Global firm IBM recently launched the first East African Innovation Center in Nairobi. Beatrice Kashenga caught up with Andy Monshow, General Manager, IBM Systems and Technology, for more on this. Kenya seems to have emerged as a darling investment spot for IBM. And uh, last year, we saw the company choose Kenya to host the first Africa-wide research lab among 48 uh, countries that make up the sub-Saharan region. And uh, this year in May, we saw the company decide to open its first innovation center in East Africa. Why Kenya? Kenya is a good soft spot for a number of reasons. First of all, there is good basic infrastructure. And while it can always be better and it can be improved, we have a really good set of infrastructure to start with. Second is, we have been investing here now for quite a while, and we've created capabilities not only within our own research teams, but also in connection with several universities. So we have the ability to collaborate with academia and to collaborate with the governments. So we can identify areas where we can bring true value into this local economy. And when, when IBM looks at an issue, we look to how can we provide value to the, the local entity. We call it, for example, with governments, smarter cities. And through that, it will create momentum for our company and it will create momentum for the local economy. What kind of technological solutions do you envision coming out of the recently launched Innovation Center? We're really looking to address local issues that are meaningful to governments. So for example, around smarter cities where we can look at problems that create um, economic depression in an area and work on a solution based on technology. Words such as Silicon Valley have been used to describe Kenya because of the cutting edge uh, innovation that we have seen. But funding still remains a key challenge, especially for startups. How then is IBM you know, helping unlock some of these uh, capital inflows in this sector? So yes, I've heard the uh, expression uh, Silicon Savannah and I think it's a great expression. And frankly, uh, I've had the opportunity to, to go many, many places in the world. And each place you see innovation. And here you see a lot of innovation, in particular around mobile. So we are working with the um, center here that we've just opened. And we're connecting the ideas behind the research capabilities, the local ISVs, that are bringing this new innovation to market, and then the business problems. If, for example, we're showcasing a problem on traffic. Now, we, IBM has a program, the Global Entrepreneur Program, which offers to local entrepreneurs a whole set of capabilities that they can access for free. Use of software, tools, and other capabilities that can allow them to innovate very quickly where they may not, might not have had access to the capital or the capabilities. For an entrepreneur who is watching you at this point in time and or an executive you know, of a well-established company, and the question in your mind is how can this innovation center help my business? What would you say to them? The idea behind the center is that it connects not only IBM technologies, but third-party applications can come in and utilize the technology but more than that, it connects academia, it connects entrepreneurs, it connects research capabilities. And as you walk around the center, you'll notice that we have state-of-the-art um, video technology that allows us to connect to experts and expertise around the globe in moments. So what it's done is it's taken the capabilities of a 450,000 person global organization and it brings them very locally here to Kenya. Africa as an emerging market has attracted a lot of investments, of course, with the promise of uh, high returns, and we've also seen IBM you know, looking into Africa. How significant is the continent to your bottom line in terms of earnings, and also how much are you planning to invest uh, in this continent? We see that we have the opportunity as a company to come in and bring our innovation here locally which will create momentum for our business in conjunction with momentum for the Kenyan and the rest of the African economy. We're hiring people, we're working with many of the universities, 
we have been uh, opening up, as I mentioned, the research lab. Uh, we've opened up um, more of the capabilities out of our uh, software labs in Cairo. Um, and so the investments around hiring from sales capabilities to creating these new centers to investment in research and development. And it's a, it's a focused investment for the company. And finally, analysts are predicting a 10% compounded growth in the ICT sector in the next two years. Do you hold the same view and what could be the momentum that is driving this, this kind of projection? What I can see is there's a tremendous amount of innovation here. There's a tremendous amount of expansion here. And it, with expansion comes investment in the infrastructure and the IT infrastructure. Um, one of the reasons that this is a perfect match for where IBM has been moving is we've developed these expert integrated systems that work very efficiently in areas where power may still be a little bit unstable, um, electricity is expensive, and clients want to grow really quickly. Um, with this, the investment in the IT infrastructure has to come really from two ways. The vendors, in this case IBM, need to bring in innovative solutions, but also we need to team locally with the universities, team locally with the entrepreneurs who are developing solutions here, and we need to give them a platform and capabilities to do that.